what is going on my good people this is your main man ben here and today guys we are going to pay respect on the turntable of my choice the rain one for the past two months I have acquired the Rain One and I'm having a blast evolving from my Newmark Platinum FX, which I still have. If you're a hobbyist that got into turntable, this Rain One is a mechanical turntable DJ controller that has a platter that spins. So I have been playing on the Rain One. There's a lot of scratching going on, you know, and some fading. Today, guys, we are going to put a little bit of maintenance because I love my Rain One so much, I am going to build a workflow and I'm sharing to you what I am going to do. So for the first time, we're going to open up the uh, plate that enclosed the crossfader, which is the Mag 4 XF, the exclusive crossfader for the Rain One. I'm used to it. Um, I don't see myself upgrading soon because this is just, you know, a hobby that we do and I'd like to put it on stock as much as I can and just have fun and whatever comes in the way, then we do it. But this is the Mag4. We're going to adjust the tension adjuster and we're gonna lubricate the rails just for maintenance because it has been more than two months now that we've been using it. And without further ado, let's do this. So this is the setup right here. It's purely from the factory. We have not adjusted any tension. We have not lubricated rails. Basically, this is my setup since I purchased the Rain 1. The easy part right now is removing the up fader buttons by pulling it out. However, the cross fader button is really, really tight. So what I did, I took a microfiber cloth and a male opener slide it underneath the button and gently pry it out. Next is removing the four screws of the platter using a regular Phillips screwdriver then can safely remove the platter. And this is the flathead screw that holds the tension adjuster of the cross fader. You're going to use a flathead screwdriver. Rule of thumb, left is loose, right is tight. When making adjustments, you would want to do one increments at a time. I will apply one full turn and put back everything and retest. On my first adjustment, I did one turn going left to loosen up the release. This is the first adjustment that we did and I think I like the response of the fader. On the lubricating part, we're going to remove the additional four screws using the Phillips driver that holds the frame of the cross fader. This is the rail where the cross fader travels from left to right, and that is the spot we're going to put the oil. Since this is a very fresh controller, I will not remove the wire. I will simply add half of drop of oil on every rail and we'll slide the fader left to right. After that, we will finish up with cleaning up the excess oil using a Q-tip. I am using a Q-tip for camera sensors since I already own a bunch of cleaners for my camera. Reverse the process by putting back the frame of the cross fader and the protective plate, and it's time to test the adjustments that we did. So 
that's it for today, guys. I hope I was able to help you out. Um, you can build your own workflow, definitely. But this, I probably will do every two months for the lap span of the DJ controller. But other than that, thank you guys for watching. Always remember, God is good all the time. This is your main boy. Peace out.